Greetings and welcome to a brand new Unreal Dev Showcase project feedback video. Um, that is, I was just about to make a video for a game uh, sent in by somebody, um, but turns out the game files doesn't work. Well, the game is so bugged, I can't even start it. You know, I get to the main menu and then it just glitches out. So that means I don't have anything to do. Mm, yes. Hey, is this Ben? Um, yeah, this is him. Who's this? It's Ben. What? Ben? Yeah, you know. Ben, I'm you. Um, what? Yeah, you see, a little time traveling birdie told me that in like 10 years I would have a YouTube channel where I showcase indie games that are not finished yet. So, did that happen? Um, yeah. I'm actually sitting, creating one right now. Oh, that's great, because I don't know if you remember, but in 2012, I, uh, you created a game called Jack Walsh, which was the first person shooter. <laughs> yeah, 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 right, right. So you're telling me I'm talking to Ben from 2012. Yes, exactly. So I just wanted, could you, like, you know, showcase that game and give me some feedback and then maybe I can make that game better. Um, well, if you send me the files somehow, then I guess I can make a video, but I probably won't be able to reach you back in time to give you feedback so you can make the game better. Because that then the game would be better already right now, right? Oh, yeah. Well, no problem. Just, just showcase it then, and then I'll see it in ten years or some something like that. <laughs> yeah, you pretty much see it right now. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Not gonna pretend this isn't weird. Oh, no problem. No problem. I'll I'll continue just doing my thing here in 2012. Okay. All right. Oh. Just one more thing before you leave. Yeah, anything, man. Um, is there a controller support? Ah, oh, no, 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 no. You have to play with a keyboard and mouse. I'm sorry. Ah, that's too bad. All right, never mind. Take care. <laughs> See ya. Never. Well, right now. <laughs> All right, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But I did create a little level back in 2012 which was actually part of the... Um, I studied 3D game design and animation. Um, so it was a part of what I did for that. Um, those studies, well, or maybe, no, the start of it was, but then I finished it later. Yeah, I should have asked him while I had him on the phone. But, so, since I don't have any other videos, games to make now, let's take a look at this. I haven't played this in, you know, many years. And as you can see, it was created in Unreal Development Kit. So that's what Unreal was called before it became Unreal Engine 4. And so this is a long time ago. But we can still see what's good and what's not so good. And it's easier to, for me to be even more radically honest playing my own game. Yeah, so you can see this is Unreal Engine 3. This is like ancient history. So this, children, is a history lesson. Right, so 
let us play it. <laughs> oh man, look at this. <laughs> Let's see. Here we go. All right, so we. <laughs> It's an interesting weapon hand. Exceedingly glitchy. Shadows. All right. And we can see that he has obviously created all of this himself. I know because I'm him. And all the uh, textures are created by me. Everything is created by me, except for you know the the HUD elements and uh, yeah, and the animations, not the swirling animations though. All right, so let's just see. So this is health, I guess ammo and all of these are all of the 3d meshes were created in blender player killed player hey that bad oh shit I don't have any more ammo. Okay, so I'm out of ammo. That's, I can't do anything. Well, there we have the first design flow. <laughs> Always make sure the player has enough ammo. Oh no, you don't, no, ah, ah. Oh man, this is stupid. Okay, I'm gonna restart. So obviously then I need to take take out those enemies before, before they can start roaming around and hijacking. <laughs> hijacking the health packs and the ammo. Okay, that's that's weird. Okay, we got him. We got him. So it's dead. Yeah, it's dead. It's just doesn't seem dead. Like that enemy should have just fallen down to the ground when it died. All right, so we got some time to think. Plants. And here we can see an environment or a place in the environment where we will visit later. So that's kind of cool that you can see into the future in a way, you know. So, okay, let's, let's go up. Okay. Okay, so they they kill each other as well, or and they drop hands that give me ammo. Okay. Interesting. It's a little loud, I think. Yeah, it's interesting the sign. He was just standing here to take that health pack, wasn't he? Like, this is strange. Like, what kind of light is that? What What's that thing? <laughs> Uh, 
come on, Ben, you can do better than this. Okay, that was a, those were, yeah, those were what they were. Yeah, so, you know, I'd suggest that at the beginning here, we should have just one enemy and not two. Oh, they respawn. So that was a respawn point then. Did all of them respawn? Oh, shit. And you know, just so that it's said, for those of you who have tried UDK, you know, Unreal Development Kit, before it became Unreal Engine 4, it was more difficult to create games in that than it is now. So Unreal has become a lot easier to develop for. Hey, I like that little, oh, another enemy. Some kind of uh, strange Dr. Robotnik animal thing with a very lacy textured texture. And I'd like to have, this is a light, so why isn't it actually, you know, throwing light out? Or is that like the thing that is having the red light? then why isn't it red? Strange, but I think those heads stuck in the walls. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, that's a little fun, a bizarre, but fun. Oh, and they are again. Oh, oh, that's me. <laughs> that's me. What the hell? Okay, I can't spawn there. Like here, I actually respawned to one of the last sections of the level, which is really bad level design. You know, you should never make it possible for your player to respawn further ahead than they have uh, come, you know. <laughs> Like I just respawned inside that wall or something. All right. Hey, but this is 10 years ago, you know? I've been doing this for probably just a year. And I hadn't really been doing this. We had, you know, been doing a lot of different stuff. It was a really cool uh, school. But it's easier now. I would want some, you know, some more particle effects than just this thing hitting, like some blood or fire or whatever would be cool. But I do think it's cool that there are dropping hands, you know. <laughs> What's strange is that the hands are like a weapon. I don't know if it's the, that the character's hand or if it's like a weapon and it's holding a hand like this that's shooting. No, no, no. It's probably... Well, that actually just makes it even more strange because if I was that robot guy that we saw when I died, then this is one of his hands. Then how come the bloody ghost things are dropping his hands? There's a lot of strange things going on. <laughs> In this level. Like, this is my hand. Something is wrong. Oh, what's that? 
that's some kind of ammo. Should have been a little bit better textured. You know, it should should have been textured, but it does look like ammo. Sounds like ammo. Right. Like, so here I have, okay, I'm gonna talk later. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Hey, that was a cool door at least. God damn. Okay, are they spawning? Hey, they actually exploded that thing. What? Too much respawning going on. All right. So, another weirdly textured thing. But it's a gun, obviously. I would say it's better to rotate it in the in the center so it rotates around like this rather than going like that. Okay. Ooh, nice. <laughs> okay, so that's the ammo for this gun. Yeah. And you know, this game is a lot of me just testing different things like making things being animated you create buttons so you can open doors and make doors which are the kind of things that we learned but that's a gun this is a gun I need some more life though Yeah, and what we can see is that they exploded that pillar that <laughs> was, you know, filling this hole. And so when the pillar got exploded and it disappeared, we can see there's no more mechanism to actually drive the door. So make sure that when you're adding static meshes, uh, put, you know, first of all, that pillar should have been actually static it shouldn't have been possible to you know shoot it um, but if you're gonna have destructible meshes then make sure they are not important for the other structures so in this case i could have had it here but then that door would have to be close enough to the wall that this gap didn't appear you know yeah I don't want to die again, but I do want that life. It's better now that I have this awesome gun, though. Oh, oh. so he dropped the gun now. All right. That was cool. Wait for it. <laughs> I didn't see those plants. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, I'm gonna go fill up my health. Thank you. Glitchy shadows everywhere. So, these are ammo for the hand. Okay, overkill much. But I love this gun. It's like you can't see 
who's dead and who's alive because they just keep standing there. That's a big flaw, man. Bad game developer. Yeah. And the art design is interesting. <laughs> yeah, so this is where I spawned when I died and spawned. But now that I've actually reached this place, then it's okay that I spawn here. Mayhem! Are they dead? They should all drop to the floor. At the very least, and it would be cool if, like, spurts of sparks were spurting okay so oh i remember this oh some acrobatic shit Ooh, come on Because I'm going up here and I have to go all the way around. Ah. Where is the shooting coming from? Okay, so it's just... Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, awesome. Now it's great that I spawn here so I don't have to do everything all over again. But I lost, lost my super gun. So that's bad. Oh, that's really bad. Hopefully I'll get it now. If he doesn't kill me, he killed me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. It's like they never die. I don't have a cool gun. And I'm out. Ah, oh, this is really bad. Okay, so this is still open. That's good. I really need... Okay, it's good that all of these enemies didn't spawn again. Is it even... any use going here without the machine gun, though? And he took the life. Of course he took the life. Of course! I'm going to take the life, too. Eleven ammo left. We're taking all the ammo. And I don't have any more ammo. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. Did happen. I 
am allowed to be extra frustrated with my own stuff. Okay, and I'm out. Not gonna... Now, what pushed me out? I'm here. I'm here. That thing is probably the coolest thing in the entire game. And that sound. <laughs> oh, I'm not going down there. Not going down there. Player is on a killing spree. <laughs> Demo level finished. Jesus. Yeah. Let's just be honest with uh, 2012 Ben. This game ain't winning any awards. <laughs> but it was stressful. Yes, it was pretty stressful. And the level design was interesting. As I said in the beginning, I do like that we can see like the end area right here. So we get a like kind of, you know, what's that called? Not the opposite of a flashback, you know, to where you will be. So that was fun. Uh, and, you know, these plants are kind of cool, and it's kind of cool with these skeletal strange faces in the walls. But, you know, it's clear that this is not created by someone who's trying to actually make a complete game, but it's more like just testing different things. So, uh, you know, just like a, for a school assignment, it's cool, but, you know, there's too little ammo, there's too little life, there's too much chaos. Certain places enemies shouldn't spawn over and over again, and they shouldn't be able to spawn each other. Um, should be less glitching. Hey, I killed you. I thought I killed. Okay, we just picked up that. But yeah, you know, it's it's kind of it's it's fun enough, and I do like the elevators. And I really like that. <laughs> And I love this gun. And I forgot. If I if I right click, then it's a shotgun. You just can't see anything. It should actually recoil and spurt some, you know, muzzle flashes like this. Well it doesn't actually, but you can at least see the bullets. Yeah. So you know, it's fun enough. Uh good try. Good try. Yeah. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.